is all positive. You know, each at bat got better and better as the day went on, and decided to come back and play tomorrow. Curtis, uh, you said last night that you wanted to, you know, regain your comfort at the plate. Uh, do you think you're well on your way to doing that yet? We're, we're better than we were yesterday. <laughs> That's a good thing, you know. Um, I think just the bats need to be had. Right now, I'm looking at about 18 at bats total up to this point. Just got to get them. It could come in one at bat, it could come in one game. Um, the good thing is each day is getting better, better. With that injury, are there any checkpoints you're looking for to see how it feels? I've um, actually already went through a few of them. Um, a ball at the end of the bat, which vibrated the hand, but that was up in the palm of the hand, which I thought it would be. Um, getting jammed, same thing, which is again deep in the hand. And check swings, and all those have checked out fine so far. David, how would you compare this start to your last one here? Um, Stuff-wise, that was a lot better. Fastball, curveball, change of everything was a little more crisp. Um, like I had a little bit better of an idea about you know where I went, where I was throwing the ball. Um, it was good to be able to you know get that bullpen session between and work on some stuff. Um, obviously, I want to be a little bit more efficient. Um, but I mean, 75 pitches arm feels great. Um, it's just a step in the right direction. Do you expect to be back here again for uh, an turn? <laughs> I mean, it's it's really day by day right now. I'll find out tomorrow. I'm sure what my schedule is like. You know. It's one of those things where you, you just got to laugh about it. It's happened. Um, there's no point to complain about it. You're going to heal up, come back. Uh, you see two of us right now, steps close to getting back. Jeter's made a return back. Um, we're down. We're definitely not out, and, and we'll be back ready. Yeah, I mean, I think it speaks volumes to the guys that have been there all year and just, you know, the work they've been putting in. And, um, I mean, it's been talked about plenty this year about the guys we've had on the DL and the guys that, you know, everybody kind of wrote off that, you know, have been doing it all year for us and you know, they're doing a great job. Yeah, we're, we're not, you know, obviously where we want to be, but we're fighting every day and, uh, you know, we're in a lot of ball games. Curtis, was that triple a nice uh, test of the conditioning as well? It was. Um, <laughs> conditioning and then how you, you finish up the rest of the game. Obviously, the legs are sore regardless, but they're no more sore because of the triple. Um, and, and sooner or later, you're going to have to run out there. Um, and you can only test it as much as you want with someone telling you to run it. Actually having the game situations dictate what you got to do with it is really good. And we made it through that first one today. Were you a little careful sliding the third? Actually, you know what? My first slide happened down in Tampa, and I remember that was actually another checkpoint. Sorry to go back with the slide. Um, and I got through that, and I was fine, too. So um, if there is anything, it's going to be because it happened in general, not because of the previous injury. But uh, knock on wood, I haven't had any issues before sliding. If you come through tomorrow, will you be here Thursday too? I don't know yet. Um, we got to wait and see how tomorrow goes. Um, hopefully everything goes good and uh, the answer is more towards a no than a yes, but um, not because I don't like it here. Just uh, hopefully it's a sign to get back sooner than later. You ready for the uh, famous uh, night and noontime minor league turnaround? Uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm talking to the guys um, and we might be getting something good to start the day tomorrow. Um, a nice little snack before we go out on the field. And uh, it's not Tampa in terms of the temperature, so that's a good thing right now. The heat wave has passed, and we've missed that, which is very positive. David, do you feel you're ready? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's a matter of, you know, building up arm strength right now. Um, it's, it's tough to go out there you know, at that level and start with 75 pitches, and I mean, it makes perfect sense why I was here, but... Um, I mean, I feel like I'm ready to go. My stuff was as crisp as it's been um, about a month. So it's, it's just a matter of, you know, going out and getting my work done, and um, I'll find out my schedule tomorrow, I'm sure, and go from there. You've spent so much of this year trying to get in the flow of this year. Have you given any thought at all about next year and being in the last year of your contract? i just got to finish up this year, you know, control what I can, and that's right now getting back on the field, wants to do that, helping this team win as many games as possible and get back to the postseason. Um, we've done it three years in a row, going short three years in a row, and we're looking to go further than we have, and that's my main goal and focus up to this point. Curtis, right, your thought on uh, Soriano coming to Bronx? I'm excited. You know, I thought I had met him at some point throughout my career, and I hadn't uh, played against the Cubs, but I haven't had a chance to interact with him. Everything I've heard has been positive. Uh, 
This is a guy that I remember watching do some great things with the Yankees organization and to get him back in pinstripes I think is a very good thing, especially at this point in time in the season. You need someone that can handle all the pressure, and obviously he's done it up to this point. And it's a, a great piece for us, another bat for us, um, some winning experience for us. I'm excited to, to get there and talk to him and just be around him. How do you think it'll work uh, with the lineup juggling four outfielders? Oh, we had to do it before, you know. Um, I only did it for a little bit, but uh, it's been one of the things that has happened, and, and Joe having the flexibility to move pieces in and out, left, right, center. All of us had the ability to move around, and there's a lot of experience out there, which is a good thing. Um, just everybody be ready to play. You never know when you're going to be needed or used, and um, any way to put a W up, I think that's going to be the, the biggest thing whenever that happens. All right. Uh, you being a power hitter, how much of an impact do you think just the threat of you being in the lineup will have? How much of an impact will that have on the team? I think overall having a bunch of the pieces back will just shape the lineup just a little bit differently in terms of guys like a Cano who's arguably one of the best hitters in the game but just putting him in a situation where okay I can't just go ahead and get a, around him once I get around him I gotta worry about everyone else that, that's gonna be there and obviously Overbay has been excellent uh, Vernon Wells started off great Soriano now in there it's gonna be another addition Jeter whether it be before Jeter I'm sorry before Cano or a little bit earlier is always gonna be another thing that you gotta keep in mind you don't want to put these guys on base because if you have no space and now you got a pitch to Cano, he can do some damage. And the rest of us, including myself and Alex and Nix and all these other guys that are going to come back into the lineup that can do some damage once they're finally back in there. Right. Rhythm-wise, where do you feel like you're at right now? Because you mentioned that before. I'm trying, to get um, back in that trying to keep the beat. You know, right now I'm dancing and, and, and I'm getting a couple looks, you know. I'm trying to get that flow so I can advance to the next round, you know. This is America's Got Talent. I'm not sure if I'm making it tonight. <laughs> so, not right now. I'm just trying to do a little two-step, a little tango, you know, something I can walk through, and I keep tripping over my feet a little bit. Don't break your finger when you trip. That's it. Hold on. <laughs> Fall down. Are you trying to see more pitches? Are you, you know, thinking about it consciously? I, I'd like to see more pitches. Save them. Not necessarily. Um, the main thing is timing. I actually had an interesting at bat down in Tampa where I was down late and had a another close call and a light bulb went off I go the reason these have happened is because my timing has been off so I just got to do whatever I can to get my timing right because up to this point it had never happened but first game of the spring obviously you're working on your timing eight games back you're still working on your timing and then sure enough my first couple games back this uh, second time the rehab same thing working on timing so once I get that going um, it shouldn't be uh, much of an issue to worry about if I do get hit I'll get hit in the spots that I normally do in the big parts of the body that guys